very good evening and a warm welcome to all of you welcome back to our daily current affairs videos the pdf of uh, the daily current affairs videos as usual i tell it to you guys on every uh, video of mine right the pdf will be available on the telegram channel all right do join our telegram channel the link for which is given in the description below all right if you want access to the pdf the daily pdfs that we share over here and other useful documents jiske lectures aap youtube pe dekhte hain uh, the pdfs and all the useful information on an, on a whole will be shared on our telegram channel so do make sure that you join that all right and also check out our rbi grade b crash course we only have 45 days left for our crash course so you must uh, you know analyze you must step back and analyze whether you are preparing in the right direction or under the right guidance all right do connect with our mentors get your queries resolved ask questions right it is better to make mistakes in practice than in the actual exam okay also download our app download our app for a one stop access to all the study materials live updates monthly gks right everything even the spotlight the spotlight is also available in our app all right so go to go to google play store you know you can remove useless files from your smartphone and install one useful app that will stay save your time and energy all right so let's start with today's uh, session right the very first question for today the very first question it is asking you <coughs> what which iit has collaborated with the center of for development of advanced computing cdac cdac comes under the ministry of electronics and information technology cdac is a very very important institute bahut sare technological innovations all right all the digital india program national informatics center and cdac these are two very important institutes that implement and also sometimes they initiate very important programs that that concern uh, themselves with digital india all right so see that ne i i kaun si iit ne cdac ke sath collaborate kiya hai to launch certain systems like on board driver assistance warning system right bus signal priority and fosway softwares these three important softwares we will discuss about it in brief but first answer the question take a screenshot of the question also right answer the correct the correct answer here is iit madras iit madras has collaborated with cda to uh, launch these softwares all right so let's just have a look what this basically is all about right to ministry of information uh, ministry of electronics and it uh, so union minister is mr ashwini vaishna right mr ashwini vaishna is the union minister of uh, electronics and information technology it has collaborated with iit madras right uh, for applications right for launch of several applications under intelligent transport system intelligent transport system in trans phase 2 program ka ek sub part hai all right now talking about in trans phase 2 program in trans basically cdac ne launch kiya hai uh, in trans ka full form aap dekh lo ek bar right in trans is a very very important uh, program launched by cdac All right, that concerns itself with intelligent transport, intelligent transport system, and intelligent intelligent transport system endeavour in Indian cities, right? for indian cities is also an initiative by the ministry of electronics and information technology is the phase 2 chal raha hai abhi phase 1 was also launched in 2019 and 21 and phase 2 is for 2022 all right various iits like iit bombay iit madras iisc bangalore and cda they have collaborated for smart transport systems in the city right smart transport include 
यू नो हाईवे एंड ट्रैफिक मैनेजमेंट राइट कंट्रोल ऑफ ट्रैफिक मैनेजमेंट ऑल द इनोवेशन दैट वी कम अक्रॉस डेली यूजिंग ऑफ द आर एफ आई डी राइट रेडियो फ्रीक्वेंसी इंडिकेटर एंड डिटेक्टर टेक्नोलॉजी आर एफ आई डी टेक्नोलॉजी फास्ट टैग टेक्नोलॉजी और राइट ऑल दीज टेक्नोलॉजीज आर यूज टू मैनेज द अर्बन ट्रैफिक राइट अर्बन कंजेशन स्मार्ट ट्रैफिक एंड रोड वे राइट रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इंडिया सो फॉर यू नो टू इन्वॉल्व इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड डिजिटाइज द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ट्रैफिक इन ट्रांस प्रोग्राम वॉज लॉन्च अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स राइट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट इट ये आई टी एस इसका एक सब पार्ट है फेज टू ऑफ इन ट्रांस प्रोग्राम एंड इस आई टी एस प्रोग्राम के अंदर ही वो सॉफ्टवेयर लॉन्च किए गए हैं राइट लेट्स हैव अ ब्रीफ ओवर व्यू अबाउट वॉट दो सॉफ्टवेयर आर बेसिकली अबाउट सो ऑन बोर्ड ऑन बोर्ड ड्राइवर असिस्टेंस एंड वार्निंग सिस्टम ऑन बोर्ड ड्राइवर असिस्टेंस एंड वार्निंग सिस्टम बेसिकली इट इज बींग यू नो लॉन्च टू वॉर्न द ड्राइवर्स ऑफ एनी ड्राइविंग एयर और राइट एट्टी फोर परसेंट ऑफ द एक्सीडेंट दैट अकर ऑन रोड दे अकर बेसिकली ड्यू टू द ड्राइविंग एरर ऑफ यू नो ड्राइविंग एरर ऑफ ऑल द ड्राइवर्स राइट Eighty four percent of the accidents are on board driver assistance and warning system. Drivers are responsible. So this is to warn and assist drivers whether they are you know over speeding or any setting is wrong, anything is wrong with the engine. You know vehicle warning sensors install किए जाएंगे through this app. Alright, that will warn uh, warn the drivers and minimize and control road accidents. Alright. तो ये सेकेंड पार्ट है बस सिग्नल प्रायोरिटी सिस्टम सो बेसिकली बस सिग्नल प्रायोरिटी सिस्टम कंसर्न इट सेल्व विद पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू यूज पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम राइट इवन यू नो लॉन्चिंग फ्लीट्स ऑफ बस इज नॉट अ सोल्यूशन टू प्रमोट पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट बस सर्विस लॉन्च करने का एक इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव ये भी होता है दैट पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू यूज पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट हैव टाइमली and you know timely information to access the service right suppose the bus is late or suppose the bus is stuck in traffic all right the people the uh, potential passengers should be informed about it right for example we create a green corridor for ambulances right there will be a separate corridor for bus services also and people will get timely updates on their phones or you know whatever uh, way in whatever way they will be signaled whether the bus is on time right what is the status of the bus that they wish to board all right so this is what it is about just it metro system mein kaam karta hai we also have brts system running in ahmedabad usi ko aur zyada smart and you know passenger friendly banane ke liye bus signal priority system launch kiya gaya hai All right. So basically, what will be the implication? Basic concept or idea is that you have that people minimize the use of private vehicles and maximize the use of public transport. All right. Second is common smart collective. Common smart collective first one is to facilitate users and application service providers, users and application service providers and various vertical domains to use open interfaces for end-to-end -end communication. All right, with well-defined common service functionalities. All right, so this was also sort of self-explanatory. Is के बारे में ज़्यादा deep में जाने की ज़रूरत नहीं है. Whatever is written over here is relevant enough. Take a screenshot, right, so that we can finally move on to the next question. Right. So the next question asks you which of the following statement is true about the target of phase two of स्वानिधि प्रोग्राम यू ऑल नो स्मार्ट वेंडर्स निधि प्रोग्राम राइट इट वॉज लॉन्च फॉर वेंडर्स इट वॉज लॉन्च फॉर स्ट्रीट वेंडर्स अंडर आत्मनिर्भर भारत और राइट वर्किंग कैपिटल के लोन्स दिए जाते हैं अंडर स्वानिधि प्रोग्राम टू ऑल द वेंडर्स और राइट सो स्वानिधि से समृद्ध स्वानिधि से समृद्धि प्रोग्राम के बारे में कौन से स्टेटमेंट ट्रू है You have to mark the correct option. You can view the options over here. All right, take a screenshot of the question. Okay, so the correct answer is only one. 
the program will be expanded to 14 states and UTs, right? Baki sare options galat kyo hai? Let's find out. Let's find out in the upcoming explanation. So you have Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs in a phase 2 launch kiya tha Swanidhi ki samriti program ka, right? In 126 cities. So of course, usme option mein 128 cities, so that's why it was wrong. 126 cities across 14 uh, states and UTs. Right, second target of the program aims to cover 28 lakh street vendors and their families with a total target of 20 lakhs sanction for uh, financial year 2022-23. Take a screenshot of this in important information so that we can move on to the explanation. Right, purpose kya hai? Swanidhi se samriti ka. Swanidhi program ke jitte bhi beneficiaries hai. There are rickshaw pullers, there are street vendors. Alright, people who carry out their businesses and day-to-day -day living on the roadways, urban roadways and cities, all of these are beneficiaries of Swanidhi program. Right, so their profile, their profiling will be done, the profiling of all the beneficiaries of Swanidhi program will be done, right, and it will be assessed, it will be assessed ki the eligible person, kaun si or government scheme ke liye, you know, eligible right for example you next slide so much you will understand by having a look at this take a screenshot of this very important mind map swanidhi se samriddhi so jo samriddhi aspect hai swanidhi se samriddhi ka iska ye hai ki after profiling after completing the profile of all the people right all the people uh, who are you know eligible beneficiaries of swanidhi program right they will be assessed whether they are, uh, you know, eligible to uh, get benefits of these schemes, right? Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima, Janthan Yojana, Shram Yogi Manthan, Janani Suraksha, Matru Vandana Yojana, right? Food Security, Employment Regulation and Suraksha Bhima. These are some eight important schemes. These are all the eight important schemes that are a part of Swanidhi se samriddhi, okay? This is the samriddhi component of Swanidhi scheme, right? I hope you got the concept. Okay, na? So, is the implementing agency kya hai? Quality Council of India will be the implementing agency. All right, technical partner. The technical partner is SIDBI, right? Technical partner of this program is SIDBI. Okay, and of course, uh, SIDB will manage all the funds that are given to, uh, you know, credit guarantee fund for MSME. An important fund hota hai. It is known as credit guarantee fund for MSMEs. So, SIDB is the technical partner uh, through which it will manage all the funds that are disbursed to the beneficiaries to this medium that is credit guarantee fund for MSMEs. To learn more about this fund, right, it might be very important for your descriptive paper. Okay, Swanidhi so is an additional program, hai, right? 2021 with 125 cities and the phase 1 were covered. Alright, 22.5 lakh schemes were sanctioned in the phase 1. Alright, and all these schemes were included in the phase 1. In phase 2, we saw the mind map. All those eight schemes are included now. All right. Central sector scheme. Central sector scheme se kya matlab hai? Ab hamesha ke liye apne dimag mein install kar lo, right? Whenever you come across a central sector scheme, it means that it is hundred percent funded by the central government, right? By the central government. There is a key difference between a centrally sponsored scheme. Right, sponsored, and you have sector. Right, sponsored or sector the difference you that sponsored scheme may central or state governments are share of that usual share is 60 to 40 for uh, normal states, but the hilly and northeast states ka share 90 to 10 ratio ke mein hota hai. rest of the India states 60 to 40 shares. But it is not hard and fast, it can be altered. Alright, central sector scheme on the other hand is 100% centrally funded. 
राइट इसके सारे के सारे फंड्स विल बी फंडेड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ओके सो बेसिकली वर्किंग कैपिटल लोन्स वर्किंग कैपिटल लोन्स ऑफ अप टू रुपीस वर्किंग कैपिटल लोन्स ऑफ अप टू रुपीस 10000 विल बी डिस्पर्स्ड टू द बेनिफिशियरीज अंडर पीएम स्वनिधि और वे एंड ऑफ कोर्स एंड इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन और एन इंटरेस्ट सबवेंशन सब्सिडी ऑफ 7% विल बी गिवन टू पीपल हु रिपेयर देयर लोन रीपे देयर लोन्स और राइट दीस आर सम टेक्निकल टिडबिट्स यू शुड नो अबाउट दिस राइट सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट ये आप जान लो इंप्लीमेंटिंग एजेंसी क्यूसीआई है and technical technical partner is partner is yeah. now moving on to the next slide we have which country offers fellowship to indian students under full bright nehru program full bright nehru program ke andar indian students ko kaun si country fellowship provide karti please answer the question you have japan us uk germany poland राइट द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज यूएस अभी टू प्लस टू मीटिंग हुआ था बिटवीन इंडिया एंड यूएसए और वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑफ कोर्स यू नो देर वॉज अ वर्चुअल कॉन्फ्रेंस बिटवीन मिस्टर प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी जी एंड यूएस काउंटर पार्ट जो विदेन और बट अदर देन दैट एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर एंड डिफेंस मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर Mr. S. J. Shankar and Defence Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh met their U.S. counterparts. All right, counterparts in other words, India ke external affairs minister and his counterpart, U.S. ke minister of external affairs, or the the terminology goes over there, Secretary of the State. Right, U.S. Secretary of the State, Mr. Anthony Blinken. Right, Mr. Anthony Blinken. All right. defense counterpart defense counterpart will be secretary of defense lloyd austin right lloyd air conditioner wale lloyd austin right defense okay just some mnemonics you have to remember the name this is what it is about let's learn about full bright nehru fellowship program in case you guys also want to take it up in upcoming future you can but focus right now on rti jaiti right india us ne established a networking group new working group on education focus will be on education and skill development basically is the main thrust is people to people contact ko improve karna right student exchange program is very very important component for enhancing people to people uh, contract uh, contact and people to people con linkages are very very important component of soft diplomacy right soft diplomacy you already know there is already a lot of indian diaspora in the us right this will also improve the number of indians in usa and maybe us students can also come to india and avail some benefits and education all right so in fourth india us Two plus two uh, ministerial dialogue, tha, right? First India US two plus two ministerial dialogue was held when President Donald Donald Trump was in power. Okay, so this के बारे में you know as news will come, we will up keep updating you, right? Right now you should know about uh, full bright new program, all right? both nations are also planning to set up india us education and skill development working group all right so both important agreement you know 2 plus 2 ministerial meeting is strategically very very important for india all right 2 plus 2 ministerial kon uh, kon si countries ke sath india ki established hai sabse pehle quadrilateral security dialogue ke all the members that is us australia and japan and other than that russia ke sath bhi 2 plus 2 ministerial meeting ka platform established kiya gaya but so important agreements that have been signed under uh, between us and india under 2 plus 2 will be logistics uh, uh, exchange and memorandum of agreement right for example just telling you because you should know 
राइट बेसिक एक्सचेंज एंड कोऑपरेशन अग्रीमेंट रिसेंटली अभी साइन हुआ था इन द ईयर 2020 और राइट एंड कम्युनिकेशन कॉम्पैटिबिलिटी एंड सिक्योरिटी अग्रीमेंट कॉम कैसा इट वाज आल्सो साइन राइट दीस आर सम बेसिक दीस कीप रिपीटिंग देमसेल्व्स इन द न्यूज़ एंड यू शुड आल्सो नो अबाउट इट इट कैन प्रोबेब्ली बी आस्क्ड इन दिस सो देयर इज मोर टू इट राइट फुल ब्राइट इट इज फर्दरिंग the exchange of outstanding academics and professionals all right sri ek agreement india or australia mein abhi recently signed hua in india australia virtual summit you can go back to the previous videos and do check it out all right so us india education foundation is pro providing fellowship to promising indians right bachelor's degree Yes, a uh, three-year bachelor degree, uh, degree and three years of professional work experience is basic eligibility criteria for Indians to, you know, avail the fellowship. Alright, you all know external affairs minister, Dr. S. Jayashankar, and former secretary of U.S. Mr. Dr. S. Jayashankar, external affairs and former secretary uh, of U.S. Ms. Gina Raimondo. Right, these. these dignitaries basically sign these agreement that promote people to people contact between india moving on to the next question we have where was the water based conclave 2022 organized water based conclave 2022 kaun se state mein organized kiya gaya hai by the ministry of ports shipping and waterway by the way the union minister for ports shipping and waterway shri sarbananda sonowal ji all right so first answer the question it is conducted in the state of assam all right assam me you have to answer right it is already a very aapke apparent hint agar ye assam me conduct karaya gaya to iska correct answer is obviously dibrugarh All right, Dibrugarh Saikova Wildlife Sanctuary. You all must have heard about it. Very important. Uh, wetland we have out there, and wildlife sanctuary we have. Wild water buffaloes. It keeps coming up in news. Very very important. And even uh, a very important and a famous bridge starts from Dibrug uh, Dibrugarh Saikova in Assam, right? And it goes on till Arunachal Pradesh. You have to write down the name. named after a very important river dibrugarh is the place where waterway conclave 2022 has been held but inland waterways ko basically promote karne ka ek bahut important hai initiative under pradhan mantri gati scheme right pradhan mantri gati scheme uh, basically ek multi modal connectivity program hai okay that coordinate planning and execution of infrastructure project All right, they aim to bring down the logistics cost. All right, a common umbrella scheme here. Okay, basically aims to bring down logistics cost, make transport more, ah, uh, you know, affordable and diversified. You know, when it comes to we talk, we are talking about multimodal transport. So this is what the real aim is. Right, speedy development of multimodal transport projects in the northeast. Right, under PM Gati Shakti. some important industry partners right take a screenshot for now some important industry partners are fiki and international ticket council <coughs> right held at football ground it was held at the football ground these are some partners our initiative also very important for it inland waterway you all know about it this is the ministry azadi ka amrit mahotsav right akam iske under bhi a water conclave which will come under this right so governance and government both are in a very festive mode due to azadi ka amrit mahotsav and why should we not be it is 75 years How much is the center's share in total outlay on Rashtriya Gram Swaraj Abhiyan for financial year 23-26? Rashtriya Gram Swaraj Abhiyan for financial year 23-26. Me center ka share kitna hai? 
right this is the total share right this is the total share out of which central share is how much central share is 3700 crore central share is 3700 crore all right okay so let's have a look at it let's have a look at it extension of rgsa is it, it is a federally sponsored scheme i hope you now know the difference between sector and sponsor राइट स्पॉन्सर की मत इसका मतलब ये है कि सेंट्रल एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट का शेयर्ड कंट्रीब्यूशन होगा व्हेन इट कम्स टू फंडिंग दैट इज व्हाई द क्वेश्चन वाज आस्किंग सेंटर का शेयर कितना राइट सेंट्रल शेयर इज 3700 करोड़ वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस टोटल आउटले इज दिस मच राइट 2.78 लाख रूरल बॉडीज uh are being helped to achieve sustainable development goals so basically jitne bhi panchayati raj institutions and rural bodies hain they will be given help right to achieve sustainable development goals right so initially 2.55 lakh uh, rural bodies were connected now they have been increased to 2.78 lakh rural local bodies right So this is the respective share, central share as we have discussed, 3700 crore state share is 2211. It was first approved by cabinet in 2018 for the implementation from 2019 to 2020-2022. Basically, the key components, kya hai, the thrust areas basically kya hangi? to empower panchayati raj institutions. Right to empower panchayati raj institutions in delivering governance, efficiency in governance. When Panchayati Raj institutions efficiently deliver, uh, you know, execute government schemes at local grassroots level, right? The basic idea and objective of the scheme actually get implemented then only. All right. So local governance is a very important uh, part. Hai. Other than that, poverty, right, hunger, cleaning of local water bodies, common property resources, primary health services. Nutrition, universal immunization program, in sub ko efficiently implement karne ki jo governance skills required hoti hai, whether it be through common service centers, right? National e governance programs. In all the ways and in every way, Panchayati Raj institutions will be empowered to implement sustainable development goals. So these are some, this is a very helpful image. Right, this is an infographic from my government of India website, Transforming India. All right, the scheme was launched on 24th of April. This is an old data, it is now 2.78 lakh PRIs. All right, and also all the states and UTs where PRIs are not other local bodies operate here, for example, cantonment boards and urban town planning committees, they are also uh, the facility will be extended. All right. So this is what basically this point means. Right? Don't remember the data, but remember the key points and objectives of the scheme. Okay. Do take a screenshot if you want. Otherwise, PDF to your Telegram channel to All right. So next, very nice question have here. From how we seen for the state we launched here. Which of the following states have launched? Him Prahari scheme answer kariye very all four are Himalayan states all right. Is ke baad bahut important and interesting aapko fact toh hi bataungi. But first answer this question whether it is Assam, Meghalaya, Sikkim, Himachal or Uttarakhand. Options are very very close right. Because all of these states are Himalayan states all right. The correct answer here is Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand is the correct answer, right? Uttarakhand uh, Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami. Pushkar Singh Dhami has launched Him Prahari scheme, right? Pushkar Singh Dhami has launched, Mr. Pushkar Singh Dhami has launched Him Prahari scheme to stop ex-servicemen and youngsters to migrate out of the state, right? Migrate out of the state, go to the international border or, you know, out migration to basically so, Rokne ke liye, you know, uh, to retain youth, to retain ex-servicemen officials, you know, officials who have retired from the services, 
to retain them in the state, provide them with the deserving opportunities, right? To ensure that they do not move out, prioritize setting of ex servicemen in areas bordering the state. All right. Uh, the total outlay of the scheme is around rupees five crore, right? Rupees five crore four lakh to be very very exact is the total outlay of the scheme, right? Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami has launched the scheme. All right, Uttarakhand Governor, Mr. Uttarakhand Governor, Mr. Gurmeet Singh. Okay, so uh, of course, uh, आपने recent previous year question के trends अगर देखे होंगे, तो recently RBI has also asking at least one question on national park. All right, so do wildlife sanctuaries देखने का इतना deep में जाने का जरूरत नहीं है, but yes, national parks we should know. Right, even as far as general knowledge is concerned, it is expected of you to know. some important basic national parks of uttarakhand jaise raja ji national park jin corbett nanda devi right gangotri valley of flowers national park all these are some important basic knowledge that can be asked in the exam so this of the exam right 2021 it asked about ranthambore national park where it is located very simple okay a quick look will do you know how What is the solar energy target of India by 2030? 2030 ka solar energy target kitna hai India ka? 175 is an old target, right? The current target for 2030 is 300 gigawatts. 300 gigawatts is the current target for solar energy in India. So recently, a research ne ek report launch kiya hai that is JNT Research and Analytics. In collaboration with Indian Energy Economics and Financial Analysis, that right, 2022 target for installing 100 gigawatt of solar power capacity. 100 gigawatt of solar power capacity के installation के लिए आह ये report launch किया गया है. Since 2011, India's solar sector has grown at a CAGR of 59 percent. Right? ये आप data देख लो. Very important data 2011 में. 0.5 gigawatt ka and it increased 59 percent increase which is also very very impressive increase right intense uh, efforts on the part of government of India right various schemes international solar allowance alliance sorry all these are some very important initiatives to uh, you know increase the share of solar energy in India all right. To fifty-five gigawatts in twenty twenty-one. Fifty-five gigawatts in twenty twenty-one. The Maharashtra Nehru National Solar Mission, सबसे पहली और important national solar scheme India में launch हुई थी in January two thousand ten. It was the first time government of India focused on promoting solar power. All right. Total installed capacity was 20 gigawatt in 2022. 2015 में ये target 100 gigawatt raise कर दिया गया था, right? And solar target of 300 gigawatt has been set by 2030. All right. So ये report basically ये कहती है that the government will fall short of the fall short of this target 300 gigawatt by 2030. All right. The government will not be able to. It will be off the mark by about 86 gigawatt, or nearly a third. Right? This is what the report is actually saying. Right? India is ranked fifth after China, US, Japan, and Germany in terms of solar power capacity. Or right? as of December 21, uh, cumulative solar installed capacity is 55 gigawatt. 55 gigawatt cumulative installed solar capacity है और एक सो बेसिक इश्यूज क्या आ जाते हैं मेरे कम्स टू इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ सोलर पावर कैपेसिटी नंबर वन स्टोरेज स्टोरेज इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यू वी हैव सम डिग्री ऑफ डेफिसिट व्हेन इट कम्स टू स्टोरिंग द सोलर एनर्जी दैट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द सोलर राइट ग्रिड कनेक्टिविटी एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज अनदर इशू थर्ड बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इशू व्हेन इट कम्स टू सोलर पावर प्लांट्स एंड सोलर पार्क्स इन इंडिया इज यू नो लैंड 
land claim issues right land disputes are very very common when it comes to renewable energy and especially very common when it comes to solar power so uske according bhi usko usse bhi deal karne ke liye indian government ne kya kiya hai national thermal power corporation they have been uh, you know installing thermal floating solar parks ramagundan floating solar park right Om Kareshwar's floating solar park, world's largest floating solar park. All right, we have discussed about these floating solar parks in our previous current affairs videos. All right, which important floating solar parks? The names up, you know, you can note it down. It can come in the exam. It has been coming in news a lot, right? So it is important. So there are challenges. There are challenges in installation of solar power capacity, but it is entirely not. unachievable right it is not an unachievable target right it can be achieved with some more intensity intensive action in right. so these are some very important these are some very important government schemes right international solar alliance first international treaty based alliance right found in india right promoted by india right one sun one world one grid national solar missions right offshore wind energy these are some important policies and schemes uh, you know that concern with the promotion of solar uh, power in india a question hai who have won the international gandhi award for leprosy leprosy you all know is a bacterial infection right leprosy is also known as hansen's disease it's a bacterial skin infection that is very very stigmatized right and the award is known as international gandhi award international gandhi award because mahatma gandhi uh, you know was very very sympathetic he did a lot of work for leprosy poor patients in india and he sympathized with them a lot right he sympathized with the social stigma that they face right so who has won international gandhi award for leprosy in 2021 we have fp nethani Bhushan Kumar, D K Rai, Ravindra Kumar, Karnai, Vijay Prasad Singh. Right, Mr. Bhushan Kumar is the recipient of this award. He has done a lot of important work in in the cause of leprosy patients in India. Right, World Leprosy Day is celebrated on 30th of January. Right, and even the in, India India also celebrates Leprosy Day on January 30. Right, in respect of uh, Mahatma Gandhi. to in a tribute to mahatma gandhi's lifelong journey in compassion towards the people affected by leprosy but let's have a look let's have a look at mr bhush kumar international indira gandhi award for leprosy 2021 dr bhush kumar is the recipient of this award from chandigarh and sahyo kush yadnam trust annual award these are instituted by gandhi memorial for leprosy foundation remember 30th january world leprosy day and national leprosy day all right india ke paas sabse zyada leprosy ke cases aate hain right so the world the highest number of leprosy cases in the world are you know witnessed by india at 51% that was detected in 2020 21 राइट सो नेशनल लेटरेसी एलिमिनेशन प्रोग्राम भी वर्ल्ड बैंक फंड करता है इंडिया में राइट इट वाज लॉन्च 1993 94 एंड 2017 में स्पर्श लेटरेसी अवेयरनेस कैंपेन राइट स्पर्श से आप याद रख लो स्पर्श लेटरेसी अवेयरनेस कैंपेन वाज लॉन्च बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू डील विद स्टिग्मेटाइजेशन ऑफ लेटरेसी पेशेंट बट इट आल्सो इंक्लूड्स यू नो uh that cure right early detection diagnosis treatment all those things are you converge under this mass awareness campaign known as parsh but i hope the information was useful right who is the winner of malcolm adishesia award 2022 malcolm adishesia award 2022 Adishesia, he was a very renowned Indian development economist, right? And also an awardee of third highest civilian award, that is Padma Vibhushan Award. All right. So, 
UNESCO also recognizes him. We, uh, UNESCO has launched the Malcolm Adishesia International Literary Prize as well. But right now, let's focus on this award. The economic stupor he award diya jata has been given to one of the most important economics professors from JNU, Mr. Prabha Nayaji, right? Mr. Prabhat Patnayak, Malcolm and Elizabeth Adishesia Trust to an outstanding social center. Right? Center for Economic Studies and Planning and School of Social Sciences. He is a renowned economist over here in JNU. CSEP may he has taught before. Currently, he is at the School of Social Sciences. Very important Indian dignity, Malcolm. You should know about it, right? He was also a member of Raj Sabha in 1978, right? Padma Bhusha. He was an awardee of not Padma Bhusha, but Padma Bhusha. So, last question, very important question. Which of the following has been chosen as the home cities for FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup? FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup. Kaun kaun si cities mein host kiya jayega? Please answer the question correctly. Right? The correct answer is B. All the options, Kapneshwar, Nabi, Mumbai, and Goa, all these three cities will host under 17 FIFA Women's World Cup. October 2022, May, this World Cup will be organized. Right? Who all are a fan of football? Do let me know in the comments below. Right. So thank you so much for for today. Let's uh, meet in the next class. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video and attending today's class. COVID nineteen Wuhan virus is again cases uske. So wear mask, carry sanitizer. Right. Do not risk your and your family's health. I hope you have vaccination ke dono doses le li hain all right if you want that you need get a precautionary dose wear your mask avoid going out in public use sanitizers right and take care of your health and study well see you in the next class bye bye